Hey, this is Alejandro Duarte from Vadin, and in this video I wanted to show you how to do data binding with multiple fields and one single value in the backend using the binder class. This was inspired in this uh, very well asked question I found in the forum. Uh, it's well described what the problem is and also uh, all the code to uh, be able to reproduce the issues there. Moreover, there is also a screenshot so basically what we have is uh, two text fields that are bound to the same Java property and uh, we want to change or keep them in sync, sort of. So when we change, for example, this one, this value here, this uh, other text field uh, should change, which is not happening. So I'll show you, I have the application running here. So if I change this to whatever, Nothing happens uh, right here. Now, because the code was there in the form, I was able to run this application very quickly. And I'll show you uh, the parts of it. Basically, a person class with a uh, name field there, a getter, and a setter for that. Also, a form that has the two uh, text fields that you saw in the browser, a reference to the uh, person class and a binder and the UI just shows that form this is just uh, creating a new form uh, using uh, this class so let, let's get back to the um, uh, person form class where the binder is uh, so after we added the uh, text fields to this horizontal layout uh, we are binding these two text fields to get name and set name both using the, the uh, exactly the same uh, methods. Uh, now the binder is just a, a helper class. It will uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, update the values in the uh, text field uh, using this when you set a bin and it would also update the uh, um, the values in the person in the, in the bin uh, when they are text field changes. That's it. So these are like individual uh, bindings. There is no binding between field one and field two. Nothing here says when the field one uh, uh, value um, or the value in the, in the name field uh, one text field changes, please change the other one. There is nothing like that at this point. Uh, and the other way around, uh, there is nothing that will change name field one when name field two uh, changes. Uh, we, we need to do that programmatically. So uh, let me explain what's happening actually uh, before we, we solve the problem. Uh, this line here, what this means is that when the value here changes that's in the browser, when the user changes the value here, use this method here to put that uh, value in this instance. So that's it. Also, when you set the bin in the Java uh, code programmatically, use this uh, method to uh, get the name or the value, sorry, that is in this instance. That's what, what's happening. There is nothing about when you call set name programmatically, set the value here, uh, the framework doesn't know when you will call uh, um, a setter, so there is no way to do that by the framework. Mm. So that's what's happening. Uh, that's what's happening at this point. Uh, two individual bindings, not binding between them. So what we need to do is actually programmatically set the value of the other field or the other fields. Here we have only two, but we could have maybe uh, three, four, or five. I don't know for some reason. So. Uh, we need to add a, a value change uh, listener here. And uh, what that, when that value changes, set it, uh, set that value into the other text field and the other way around if we want to make this also um, editable. Uh, so if that's what we want, uh, there is a very convenient uh, method here, which is a va uh, add value change listener, which adds, um, a change listener to all the fields 
in the binder there is this two here so we can easily set the values now in the text fields now we have the binder so we have to do is uh, to set the bin which is person this will again uh, when we set the bin the binder are going to use these methods here uh, to get the name and set them into the uh, values in the text fields in the browser uh, and that's it so this will keep the uh, uh, fields uh, synchronized so let's try that here let's refresh change this test yeah it changes and also if i change this it works so um i think that's about it for this video i hope you liked it and uh, let me know in the comment sections if you have any ideas or suggestions of what kind of topics uh, you want me to help you with in future videos. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.